It's the drums. It's the drums. <laughs> yes. I watched the video. <laughs> it's the way. God damn. It got me. Because you know you were just witchcraft. I was like, I Could I ask y'all, like, what do you think Cardi's going to do um, first week? Under 100K? Cardi, Cardi B? Oh, oh. Um, She got loyal fan base. She so two hundred. She got she got loyal ass fan base. I'm not sure about two. I would say she's gonna do over hundred though. Mm. It's depending on how these songs the songs she releases gonna stick. If these songs don't stick, now, they, they, yeah, that's what I'm about to say. I don't think it's. I don't think we have to worry. I don't think she needs to have to worry about sales. It's what's gonna stay on Billboard. Cause yeah, I don't, I don't know what this album looking like. I mean, this is. This sounds like song she should. This sound like the album that she should have dropped when she dropped up, cause up was up like that. You know what I mean? That song was syndicating. So yeah, she she bit off some Jersey dudes to you know say get that get that done. You know, that's cool. Cardi, I don't know. You should have dropped last year, Cardi. I'm just being honest right now, man, because the way this shit going right she now, she didn't want to drop with like, Nicki and Doja. But still, it's like you had to be <laughs> rapping rapping this year. Like you can't come in here with that bullshit. For this sure. year, it seem like for sure, because they Nikki... gonna drop her album this too. This year too. And then, Nikki kind of started this off last year, the December. She jumped that shit out. I'm like, oh man. That's what. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Let's compete, yo. Like everybody dropping. Everybody should be competing, bro. Everybody oh, dropping. Yeah. Stop being that scared. Is the, cool. That is yeah. the fuel of hip hop is competitiveness, and people don't it's want just people. Just, yes. And I, I need it. I need it. I need Metaphorically. Yeah. I love this shit. Get me just sitting back like this thing is out here hugging on stage and shit. You're like, this is I damn love you. Okay. okay. It's my brother. It's my brother. You're like holding his hand up high. Like, yeah. We went to the same Eric, school. Stop the in the, uh, um, <laughs> Drake, stop in the toy and shit. Like, you the most greatest rapper of live. You all is the man. Killed you on your own song. Killed you on your own song. I thought that nigga to him, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna get a 1D. I'm like, God damn. You, you wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But what in what in the conversation about Kendrick, the reason that J. Cole fought Diddy in the first place, and that's why J. Cole be riding bikes all the time. Hmm. Hilarious. I don't even miss. <laughs> Look, allegedly, allegedly. No, but he did say his last fight was with Diddy. And it's in the, the whole connection of him riding bikes all the time. Because of the thing that happened with Kid Cuddy Car that is connected to all of me. That was crazy. That's some crazy ass shit. Hey, try to turn him into the moon man for real. <laughs> and you know he was sitting somewhere in some dark shades. <laughs> yeah, looking like ghosts with uh, with the leather uh, leather gloves on. Right? <laughs> He's just watching, <laughs> waiting. <laughs> but I just love the fact that K Dot was like, even with Cole, it's like, yeah, we we cool, but nigga, I still want to rap. Look at all that. We yeah. make a little couple of freestyles together, but no. <laughs> K Dot said, nigga, I'm Bishop. Wait. You don't kill. You ain't true no more. See? That's what it's all about. See how scared you are? Don't you get tired of this shit? What the fuck you want from me? Nothing. You know what you you know what you should have done? The clip that you should have used is what um when Rick was uh, about to shoot Jimmy, when he was about to shoot Jimmy and shit. <laughs> Off of the grass. <laughs> cool, you in here. How you feeling about it, man? Well, uh, hey. I want to get your opinion on the album first, and then K-Dots. Uh, so, I don't like the album. I like some of the beats. But Future didn't say shit on this whole album. And I like I don't know, but this this uh well the standout song is actually the shit that everybody's talking about, which is the the diss record. And honestly, bro, I've been waiting for some shit like this. I'm getting tired of this kumbaya. Like I mean, we ain't want niggas to get shot or nothing, but like it, the competitive edge need to come back to the to the game, bro. 
Um, I heard what you're saying about the album, but you don't listen to Future like that because you know this this Future. I I do, but I don't know something about this album. I just couldn't get with it, bro. I'm gonna give I it feel a like second. he was following his typical Future formula on how he write a song. He got to talk about a drug. He got to talk about a bad bitch. You got to like he was just checking out the boxes. Yeah, <laughs> the checklist. Yeah. Oh yeah, you forgot toxic. Uh, yeah, that, I feel like that's what it was like. The toxic nigga. Yeah, toxic he wasn't nigga super was super toxic. Kind of like <laughs> nigga sound like like I told the deal. He sound like he was mad at a nigga. Like he usually upset. Hilarious. Nigga, right now he's mad at a nigga. <laughs> Is he mad at Drake? <laughs> and I ain't being funny. I'm just saying though. He sound like he mad at a nigga this time. Like nah, I ain't fuck with y'all niggas this time. Somebody, somebody, uh, posted up a clip on um Twitter. You remember the Charles Gambino uh video where they're all cartoons? And you see Future uh leaving Drake uh on a bike and stuff like that. He's like, yo, this, this, this is coming more true and true. Like, <laughs> this is hilarious. Little circle. Speaking of, I heard Drake. I mean, I know Future supposed to add a little verse with Drake on here, and I'm like, something about part two, probably talking to some shit. I don't know. I mean, I heard they like somebody said they beefing and they unfollow each other on Twitter and it's a whole oh, bunch of shit. I know it's Metro good. and Drake had some little shit going on. They would be mm-hmm. a <laughs> so if that's, that's the case, that's some little kid shit. That's what I'm saying. So and then like if, if future really cool with Drake still, why he let Kendrick bite his face off? And then <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a lot of promotion going on with this too. With everybody, all parties, because none of these people are gonna try to ruin their careers on no serious <laughs> shit. So this is a lot of promotion for music. Not only that, Stephen though, with K Dot, I think is real always serious as far as when it comes to the rap. Like he's serious. Like you know, I'm calling y'all niggas <laughs> out. Like what's up? Y'all ain't said shit in eight years since the control <laughs> Like what's up? That's what I'm saying. That, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like he comes, he comes out every like ten years to just get motherfuckers to rap. Like. <laughs> That's the Gemini in him, bro. He probably some. They, they, he's probably still thinking about some shit Drake said back in 2012, and didn't like his tone and thought about it and dissed the shit out of him. <laughs> I ain't being funny when I say this, but you got to think about this certain artist. Oh now, damn, you, Big Sean. You know what? I'm gonna give Big Sean some credit because would you rather be a Big Sean or a Meek Mill? And I'm not being funny, Meek Mill. I'm saying as far as the art. I'm Big not talking Sean, about, all, all talking about the music. And the rap. <laughs> Because at one point it was supposed to be Meek Mill, Big Sean, J. Cole, Kendrick, Drake. Yeah. It was the one. I don't know. Like Big Sean really not really doing nothing. No. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I think th- to be honest, I think Big Sean kind of had like was almost neck and neck with Kendrick on Holy Key, bro. Hmm. You said Nick and Nick uh, with who? Kendrick on Holy Key. <laughs> that song Holy Key. Oh yeah. I gotta re-listen. All that's out the window after control and everything he did after that. That's out the window. It's done. <laughs> no, yeah, this was this was out this is after the joint though. After control. That was on uh Khaled's uh one of Khaled's albums. Yeah, right? that, that was like two what three years ago. Damn. Ain't shit that man Look, said. He got me looking it up. Near, as far as Big Sean. <laughs> no, he's saying that he was keeping up with Ken- he was keeping up with Kendrick on that song. I know, but even with that, song, but you don't feel like, like that. Oh, okay. yeah, it's like okay. I'm, I'm gonna do this for I'm gonna play a little bit, but you know what it is. <laughs> we can have fun <laughs> right now. <laughs> you know what it is, though. <laughs> Speaking of Big Sean, though, man, um. I want to play the song because, I, like I said, I feel like he was actually going in on the song. Now, K. Dot doing what he do, it took a lot of attention away from this song, but still, he like, I'm here, I'm still here at all way. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> look, I mean, he went through the whole process of even putting out a video, and it's like, damn. But it, it, try about- again next week. Just drop know, another right. song next week. <laughs> drop yeah, another song. J. Cole with Drake might drop next week a response. Nah, you know what's happening. Pusha T gonna drop. It's oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's something. It's always not. If Pusha T drop Drake, what the hell? 